Good morning, everyone. I am Mrs. Teresa G. Rudil, Master Teacher 1 from Bangkod Elementary School, and I'm going to present to you my action research entitled Contextualize and Localize Instructional Materials, Strategy for Learners at Risk in Multiplying Numbers. Context and Rationale Regular tests and memorization of math facts in elementary learners does not ensure future success with math tasks. Lasting success with mathematical tasks is rooted in understanding, not memorization. Boller 2014-2015 In the study conducted by Williams in 2019, it was stated that mastering the basic facts for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division is an essential goal for all students. Most educators also agree that success at higher level of math hinges on the fundamental skills. Teachers must be creative and resourceful in making instructional materials which they use in teaching their lessons. It should motivate pupils to catch their interest in doing things and associating them in real-life situations. Posadas, 2019. Proposed Innovation, Intervention, and Strategy Contextualize and localize instructional materials. A strategy for learners at risk and multiplying numbers aims to increase the performance of grade 6 learners in math. Contextualize and localized materials will be used in teaching multiplication to grade 6 pupils. Standardized tests and multiplying numbers will be utilized. Methodology The participants in this study were the 32 grade 6 pupils of Bangkok Elementary School. They are selected based on their performance in math, particularly in multiplying numbers. Data gathering method The pupils were given free tests using standardized tests on multiplication. Localized and contextualized instructional materials were used during classes and intervention activities. The intervention activity was done for two months. Different instructional materials were created and used during the intervention process. Different abilities of learners were considered in conducting intervention. Post-test was administered after the intervention program. Results were analyzed and interpreted. For the data analysis plan, pair t-tests were used to identify the significant difference between the pre- and post-test scores of respondents before and after the intervention. Findings Table 1 shows the result of pre-test scores of the participants in four sets of tests. Most of the respondents found the items in the pre-test difficult to solve. It also shows that they have limited knowledge in multiplying numbers. Table 2 shows the result of post-test scores of participants. Results revealed that the students performed better in the post-test than in the pre-test. In the post-test, there is an increase in the performance of the students. This is the comparison of the level of performance before and after the intervention. Table 3 shows the result of difference between the mean score before and after the intervention using paired t-tests. The computed t-value of negative 18.968 with this associated probability value of 0 0.000 less than the critical value of 0 0.05. It suggests that there is a significant difference between the mean score before and after the intervention. Hence, the intervention on multiplication packs using contextualized and localized instructional materials is effective. In this study, the researcher found out that using contextualized and localized materials really help in motivating students in achieving high level of performance. Using instructional materials, pupils' interest in doing tasks was really in its higher level. Better retention and mastery of the lesson were evident. This proves that using contextualized and localized materials in teaching math has great impact in achieving high level of performance. Implications The findings of this study suggest that the use of contextualized and localized instructional materials in teaching math, particularly multiplication, has a great impact on pupils' academic achievements. Conclusions The findings of the study suggest that the students tend to perform better after giving intervention on multiplying numbers. After being exposed to localized and contextualized learning materials, they actively participated in the discussion as well as in the performance tasks provided by the teacher. Pupils' interest throughout the learning process was evident. Recommendations the researcher recommends the use of contextualized and localized instructional materials in handling classes that require critical thinking. This can help learners in understanding the lesson clearly and easily. Aside from mathematics, 
These instructional materials may also be used in some other subjects to get an equal opportunity of learning. These are the references used by the researcher. Thank you very much.